Hey up guys, so I'm back again. Unfortunately, I'm not outside this time. I'm not in a workshop. I'm actually sat in my own car. Now this is because King Bollen, absolute legends, I'll post their link below, um, have sent me out another tool. Now this tool is pretty cool. For any home sort of DIY kind of person, now this is one up your street. Now this even goes onto a little bit more technical than just the old code, code reader, scanner. Check this out guys. So they've sent me the C Reader Elite. This is the box. Now it does say Audi on it. Don't panic about that too much. I'm going to show you a little bit more about that as I get into the video. And this is the little little doicky. We'll call it a doicky. And it's very, very small, as you can see. So as my head. I've got a big head. <laughs> and all it comes with is a wire. So that's your generic OBD port there. And of course, this. So there's no internal battery on this. So it does either have to be plugged into the mains with the USB cable that is supplied or obviously powered by your car connected to this so right we're going to get into it now i'm going to try and do it one-handed and show you some of the key features of this c reader see what's going on so i'm sat inside an octavia this is a 2018 octavia many many control modules and all cars are different guys but again this one does say audi but i'm going to show you a bit more about that in just a sec so let's nip on in and and just see what this tool is all about really so it's plugged in down there that's your OBD. Um, all cars are different, guys, so don't take that as it's the same as yours. Might not be. And then it turns itself on. Now, you can see me in the uh, in the reflection there. It's got it's come from launch, as you can see. I've still got the protective covers on it, guys. That says it all, really. So it just takes a couple of seconds to load in. And here's your main screen. Right. Here's the boot, boot, booty of it. The beauty of it. Right. So all we've got here is you've got your generic OBT2. And you've got your diagnostics. Right. So diagnostics will take you in to everything that this has set up on it. Caught that. It's all touchscreen as well. So although I said it was for Audi, and the box says it's for Audi, it's actually a Volkswagen Audi Group um, software that it comes with. So you've obviously got Bentley, Bugatti, Lambo, and then your original, your site is Gaudi VW, and your commercial VW. That's what CV stands for. So you can pick what you like. Obviously, I'm sat in a Skoda. So we're going to go down the Skoda route, and it'll take you into the usual diagnostic software and this is pretty quick guys considering what it is it's pretty pretty quick and it does take you i'm literally hands free it just takes you into your system communicates with everything like i say these modern cars loads of control modules really really off so you can do a health report and this doesn't just go through a couple of control modules guys this goes through the whole shebang the whole shebang every control module that's readable on your vehicle it goes through so it does take a couple of seconds so i'll speed it up now and you'll see it scanning back in here we go guys so it's done a health report so my car is relatively clean and we've got a data record invalid i know what that is i just need to do a software update with the official vw odis and this can't do that so don't worry about that that's just a data record is invalid Everything else, however, guys, is all right. So this is just an overview of some of the modules that you've got. So engine, ABS, climate, so that's your aircon, electric, central electric, so anything from bulkhead backwards, airbag, steering column, cluster. Honestly, guys, you've got it all on this. It's really, really good. You can clear them all. You can do a report. The report literally just takes you into a really cool report. And then you can share this online. Now, the beauty of this tool is, guys, it is, if you say, well, let me put it back. If you see there... Connected to Wi-Fi. So we'll come out of that. It will say abnormal. That's fine. Don't worry. Um, you can do system selection. Again, these are all the control modules it talks to. So it isn't just your basic scanner, guys. It's quite good, this. Everything. And we keep going. And we keep going. Honest to God. So much stuff. Even for stuff the car doesn't have. This is how intricate it is. Like diff lock, I ain't got diff locks, front wheel drive. So it is geared up for literally everything rear spoilers, TV tuners. And there we go. We'll speed through that, guys, because honestly, it's everything. Uh, and you can click into them. So if I just take, I don't know, if I take Central Electrics, for instance, purely because it's just easier. One thing it could do with is a little hook. A little hook or something it'd be fantastic stop it doing that so i've accidentally come out of it we'll just speed it up quickly again cool I'm back in so if we go system selection right i'm just going to pick the one that i know has some really good stuff to look at 
which is Central Electrics. And that is, like I say, bulkhead, backwards, everything from your horn to your lights to uh, wing mirrors, that kind of thing. And it'll give you all the long code in there. All your modules, your DTCs, you can do uh, read data streams, the live data, freeze frame, you can test the actuators. So if you look at testing the actuators, it'll ask you if your ignition's on, it always will, but it can light up any of these systems and you can then test to see if they're working. Again, 66 items on this alone, guys. So it is really, really intricate. It does well. Now, here's the beauty of it. You can do adaptions. You can adapt all these things. So say if you guys out there want your dash sweep or anything like that, boom, this will do it. And if you want to change your reg plate lights from standard bulbs to LEDs, this will code it over as well. And you can do online secure logins. And it can literally tell you everything. Absolute madness, isn't it? So the online bit, I want to show you just a quick access permission. Right, access permission. I've got all the codes that you need for all the control modules on this on this car in particular. Obviously, I can't gear it up to every car, but this car in particular, so 2018 Octavia, so it'll go across to the A3, the Audi A3, Volkswagen Golf. I'm going to put the link of all your passwords down below in the description. So if you guys need to get in there, your passwords will be there to do it. What I want to point out, though, guys, is please be very, very careful. If you're coding, messing around with any adaptions, anything like that, just please save it or know what you're doing so you don't accidentally upset something and render your car undrivable or anything like that. So that is your disclaimer, guys. If Whatever you do on this is on your own. Uh, I've not shown you this in, in respect of this is how you do it. This is just an overview of what the tool can do. So, again, we can come back out of that. Really, really good. You do maintain. So it'll even show you diagnostic procedures channel information, special functions, so you can adapt EGRs, adapt throttle valves, coding new airbag control modules. It really does have it all, guys. I'm not obviously not going to go into airbag control module. There's nothing mine needs. Cool, right? So I don't want to bore you guys and show you absolutely everything. The, 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 it's in the pudding, really. It's in the pudding. So all I'm going to do... He's nipped back out of this. We're going to OBD2. And now this is your generic scanner style. This is what your generic OBD would do. So I presume you can uh, up this up to every car. Obviously, I don't have another car here to try it. So I'll match it to whatever the, uh, the protocols are in your vehicle. And that is literally just your quick. So no DTCs. We've got eight readiness completed, none not completed. So if you're in America... Readiness codes are quite a big thing in America, um, and it's completed all eight of them. Happy days. That means it's really, really good. It'll tell you the ignition of the vehicle. So this is a compression igni ignition, so it's diesel. And we can nip out of there. Now, you've got mail. Cool, right? Go film, yeah? So like I say, guys, this is hooked up to my Wi-Fi, so it's quite quick at home. This is the best bit. This is the best bit. So, if you've ever bought a scanner out there or a tool, a diagnostic tool, and you've not had a particular bit on it, and it costs a couple of hundred quid or thousands of pounds for this scanner, and you're a bit pissed off that it ain't got it, well, there we go, guys. This, although they're like $39 each, so if you want to start diagnosing your Aston Martins, 40 quid or $40. So, where I'm going with this crank position reduction learning, $40. Coolant bleed, $40. You can add literally anything onto this tool, including your DPF regens, your high voltage diagnostics. I don't know how good these are because I'm not paying $40 each just to test them. That'll be down to you guys for whatever your individual needs are. But as you can see, there's absolutely everything on there, even vehicles that aren't in the UK. So this video goes to absolutely everyone in the, uh, in the world. Sunroof resets. Window calibrations. Honestly, guys, there's, there's a this will be do. They'll do you for everything. For everything you want to do at home, I'd say this will do that and more. It'll even give you data, so you can have a look at DTC library. If you're not sure what the code means, you can get into there, and it'll it'll tell you. Put the code in, and it'll give you the dictionary definition of it. It updates as well, so you go on upgrade. All these little things that you have, you press update. Oh, you select them. Sorry, and everything you have. You can then update. So obviously Wi-Fi dependent is how quick it's going to be. But yeah, really, really good guys. Really, really great tool. 
cool, right? You can even have screen capture on there as well and recovery. So that's the tool, guys. Let me know what you think. So the links will all be down in the description. So you can have a goosey gander as well. And it's as simple as that, guys. It is it is a very intricate tool. Um, it does what it says on the tin and more. You can download more things to it. It's really, really cool. Hopefully you guys have seen what you need to see. Uh, like I say, links will all be down there in the description. If you've got any questions, anything like that, I am trialing the tool. I am using the tool. Um, there will be another video coming, which is me. Gonna, I'm actually going to do a diagnostic job with the tool just to show you guys. Although this is a review, you've not really seen me do a lot. The diagnostic bit's the key. So that's going to help everyone. Now, I think at time of sending this video out, it's about 150 quid this tool. Roughly, don't quote me on that. Follow the link below and I'll tell you the most updated price. However, I am told that King Bollen are going to be doing some Amazon Black Friday deals. Now, what that means, I don't know. But the link will stay updated, guys. So if they drop a cheeky discount code on there, they'll be the first to know. But this tool's mega for your, all your home stuff. Again, thank you guys for coming along. Comments are welcome down in the box. And you're going to see this video on YouTube, TikTok, and maybe Instagram as well. So going across all the platforms there, guys. So share some love. Share the video, give us some likes and some follows and everything like that. And I'll keep you up to date with all the tools that I bring onto the channel and bits and bobs that I'll help you at home. Now, this isn't based in a garage, hence why I'm sat on my driveway in my own car. Because I want to show you guys tools out there that you can use at home rather than having all the fancy workshops, the fancy lifts and stuff like that. Bits and bobs like this are absolutely key for fixing your own stuff. And of course, saving yourself some money over time, which is the aim of the game. That being said, guys, thank you for coming along. You've been wonderful. Take care, and I will see you again very, very soon.